Hi, this is Sherami from My Mother's Daughter Hand Spun. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how I spin a single. This particular one is intended for chain plying. Um, but how I spin a single with one of my art bats found in my Etsy shop at Mom's Daughter Hand Spun. Um, in my bats, as I mentioned in my last video, I use a lot of pulled sari silk threads. And these threads are wonderful, they're gorgeous in the yarn, but they can be a little difficult to spin because they're so much longer than the wool staple and they tangle up in these clumps and then you have like really long sections and as you're drafting your wool will come apart while the threads remain intact or vice versa and it can be a little bit frustrating if you're not familiar with using them. So in my last video I demonstrated coarse spinning. In this video, I'm just going to be spinning a regular single using a worsted drafting method. And um, as I mentioned, the single is intended for chain plying. That's one of my favorite ways to spin one of these bats because there's really no special techniques necessary, no special wheel setup. You don't need a big orifice or a super slow whirl or ratio to get it done. It's just a simple, if you can spin a single and you can chain ply and you have access to an art bat then you will end up with a lovely art yarn at the end. So it's a great kind of intro to art yarn because it just sort of the main thing you're learning in this method is to just let go of perfection and the idea of consistency in your yarn because the add-ins in these bats are just not going to allow for that. So it's um, kind of more of a good mental practice than a art spinning practice because there's nothing um, especially artsy about it. It's just a kind of a, a normal, I use that term loosely, spinning technique. So getting started, I'm just drafting back, sliding my fingers down just like with any worse to draft. And you'll see as I'm coming up on this big chunk of threads here, they're gorgeous. You can see my wool is starting to pull apart while my threads are still really thick and that can be a little scary if you don't know what's happening. Um, I would just build up the twist and let it draw back so that it doesn't draft apart. And uh, just using my fingers to guide. So you'll see there are going to be sections where there's just wool, and sometimes there will be sections where it's just threads, and that's perfectly fine too. Coming up on a big clump of threads there, and just using, I really use my thumb and my my back fingers a lot to kind of walk the, the twist sort of where I want it to go. Um, so and just like in the core spinning video, you'll see that I end up kind of with a big wad of fluff down at the end that's no longer straight and nice like it was fresh off the carter because as you're drafting back along those long threads it's kind of bunching the wool up because it's much shorter and so that can be a little frustrating I'm sure. Um, I just go with it and continue drafting using my fingers to kind of smooth it out a little bit as I want to. Um, some of the fibers are folded over, some of them are wadded up, some are straight, it just isn't going to be nice and straight like it was, and that's okay. Just keep drafting. Okay, I'm gonna add another strip. I just pull off of the back. Mommy. Yes, Josephine. Is my watching? Uh, I don't know, sweetheart. I think she's watching Violet. Okay. We're going to the worsted join. Look at all those gorgeous threads and sparkle. And just using my thumb and my index fingers. When are you talking about? Maybe I'm making a video. Can you say hi? Hi. All right, now let me talk. So we've got these big clumps of threads, and my wool's not quite joining in. As I draft back, it's pulling even more of that wool out of there, and that's okay. I'm just going to let it twist, and I'm just going to have this gorgeous section here that is just plain threads, which will probably result in a section later on down the road that is just wool, and that's okay too. So this right here is a good example. You can see as I'm drafting back, my wool's kind of separating out. 
And if you keep going, it will eventually rejoin and just leave a big section that's just wool. And that's going to be great as we're chain plying because it'll kind of all balance out. Now here's something that will happen, not just with my bats, just with art bats in general. As I'm drafting the wool back, the longer add-in things are kind of just separating out. And you can see they're kind of creating this big split. Now for me, usually I will just keep drafting back. I just have this long section that's just plain wool, and these will all join up eventually. But if that really bothers you, and you want them all together, then just open up your fluff and tuck that fluff back in and keep going and just kind of make them do what you want them to do. So like I said, I like big sections of plain wool and big sections of threads and sparkle. Um, so I just kind of let the wool draft out until I get to the sparkles and the threads. And But if it bothers you, you can totally just tuck it back in there, join them up and make them do what you want. So see it's happening again there. Tuck that back in, and again drafting back. And something that's a little disconcerting when you're um, spinning a regular single with an art bat is that as it twists, you notice you just kind of start losing a lot of your threads and sparkles and all those pretty add-ins. They just kind of get lost into the twist. Um, when you ply, that twist is going to loosen up a lot, especially in a chain ply. And all of that stuff's going to kind of just start to for lack of a better word, blossom out of the twist, and you'll get to see a lot more of this, um, the fun stuff that's getting lost in the twist a little later on down the road. So this is a good chunk here. Nice and pretty, and it's mostly just threads, and then we move back into our wool here. Again, we're separating out, and you can see like this is all wool here, all threads here, and that's just going to happen because of the difference in the staple length of both fibers. So again, just tuck that back in. Watch out, Mabel. Is it better? So we're coming up on the end here. So like I said, this single will be chain plied. I'm not going to show that in the video. Um, nothing special about it, regular chain plying techniques. Um, but the results will be a lovely art yarn. And you can find me on Instagram at my mother's daughter hand spun. I'll try to post a photo of the finished product when I'm done. So thanks again for joining me. This is Share Me with a very brief uh, appearance from Josephine and Mabel. And uh, please uh, message with any questions or comment. And uh, I will be happy to answer if I can. Thanks a lot.